Hey guys, I don't know what this video is gonna be. It might just be me updating, kind of sharing some thoughts that I've had on my own mind for the past little while. I'm Erin, if you're new here, I post a little peek into my life and also my mind. And all these videos are basically a guide through life as a woman for women. I'm an Aries, okay? And I feel like that's such an easy excuse. Oh, I'm blank, whether it's like zodiac sign or the order you were born in in your family or like who you are, your gender. Like there's so many excuses we can use for like why we are as people. And I feel like the whole I'm an Aries thing is just so, it's true, like it is true. And I'm referring to in the sense of like control and feeling a need to like always have control and always be very like goal oriented and like focused on something and making things happen and we're just very like we're the first ones of the zodiac so we like lead we take charge we're like very headstrong and just we're the ram you know i feel like that's the excuse that i use for myself or one of the excuses i use for myself for why i'm so focused on having control but i'm trying really hard to let go of feeling this need to always have control of everything and it's interesting because i think one of the main ways that it comes into play is with my desires when i'm manifesting something when i'm wanting something when i have like this goal that i'm trying to achieve i become so focused on like literally journaling and manifesting it and visualizing it and speaking it into existence and affirming it and doing all of the things so that it can come into my life and while that's great because you know i'm focused on this goal and i'm working towards this goal it's also taking away from me being here and being now and i think you can't really bring anything forward if you aren't in the now like i can't be so focused on what's to come if i'm not here doing what needs to be done here and it's always something i have to like revisit and remind myself being able to let go of your desires and that that's what's bringing them in i'm kind of just gonna read off some takeaways that I've gotten that I think might be helpful for you and also just a reminder for myself because I'm going to revisit this. I wrote it in my phone in simple terms as well so that I can just constantly go back to it and remind myself that this is the way to get what I want, not the whole obsessing over my desire. The first step that I wrote was to close your eyes and tap into the thing that you're desiring. So I'm gonna do that with you guys. I'm gonna close my eyes and envision the thing that I want and I'll let myself feel the emotions of that thing that I'm desiring. Step two is to tap into the state of being. So practice the energy of already having that thing. So a lot of the times, or not a lot of the times, all of the times that we have a desire, there's a root reason that we want this thing. So for example, you may want to get this job, but the reason that you wanna get this job is so that you can you know, impress people around you or so that you can have financial security or whatever it is. What you need to do is tap into the feeling of having that now. So you don't have to tap into the feeling of having that job specifically, but tap into that feeling of either, you know, giving yourself the reward and the recognition for all that you've accomplished already or making yourself feel secure and showing yourself that you are taken care of and you do have enough and showing yourself all the things that you already have within you or around you. So I wrote here, um, tap into the feeling of whatever the thing is you're wanting now. Activate those emotions now in your body. So again, closing our eyes and just calling on those emotions that you're wanting to feel with that future desire now. And then step three is practice letting go. Close your eyes and picture a rope between the desire and you and imagine snipping the rope and letting the desire fall. I forgot the name of the creator. I think her name's Jacqueline. I wrote it in my journal, let me read it. Because this is completely from her and I don't wanna just steal her. Jalen, that's her name on YouTube. This is from her, this basically this entire thing. Um, it's also kind of pulled from other people as well. So this is not something I just came up with on my own, but practice letting go, close your eyes and picture a rope between you and the desire. So close your eyes and envision your present self here and wherever, whatever that thing is, imagine a rope between you and that thing and imagine snipping that rope and letting the thing fall. When you do that, thoughts are gonna come up of, no, I need to think of this thing so that I can manifest it, or no, I need to like hold on to this so that 
it can come to me or but it's what I want or your brain's gonna try and come up with things to say to you in order to not let go of that thing and what you want to do is continue to snip it with those beliefs so now continue with yourself there and the belief attached on the rope and snip those beliefs and let them fall as well and just continuing to do that over and over and over again every time that you have a desire that you feel like you're focused on or obsessed over I feel like this happens a lot with men especially I feel like as women especially in our generation maybe it was like this in the past generations too but with our generation with like social media and texting and all of that stuff it's so easy for us to become like obsessed and like wanting them to text us or you know wanting a relationship or wanting to meet someone or whatever it is and we feel like in order to bring that thing in we have to obsess over it and kind of be super focused on it and know what we want and like work towards that but while it's important to know where you're headed and have a clear focus of where you're wanting to go, you also need to like let go of that thing and make sure you're living for right now and you're giving yourself the feeling of that thing right now instead of just waiting for happiness. So I think, feel like this applies to so many things with like men with also just career and either body goals or um, financial goals, like just so many different things. So. I hope this was helpful. I don't know, I just felt like called to kind of pick up the camera and talk about this because it's been something I've been dealing with over the past few weeks and it's something that I deal with on and off forever, I feel like. And I just, I'm tired of feeling obsessed over certain things. I'm tired of obsessing over the things that I want and then feeling frustrated that they're not already here. Cause it's like, I've been thinking about this thing and manifesting this thing for so long, why isn't it here? So I think this whole, reminder to just let go one allows it to come into you and then also you don't have to feel that resistance in the moment you don't have to feel shitty while you wait for it it's interesting also when i think of the things that i've been manifesting not really realizing it like when i think of something like oh that'd be nice and then i just kind of forget about it those things come to me so fast like for example a few weeks ago i was on the le Creuset website like the you know pots and pans like those really expensive fancy pots and pans i was looking at the website because i was like oh i would love to have those like once you know i get my money really up that's going to be something i'm going to buy for myself so i was looking at the pots looking at the prices seeing what color i'd want and just like looking around and i didn't really think much of it and i clicked off the site and went about my week and literally i think three days later my mom is moving and she's giving away some of her stuff and she literally is like oh do you want these the la crusette pans that i was literally looking at two of them and I was like, that's so crazy that literally a few days ago I was looking at this, wanting this, but because it wasn't something that I, you know, like really, really, really was like, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. How am I going to make this happen? When is it going to come? It was just something that I was like, oh yeah, I want that. I'm going to get that eventually. And I kind of just forgot about it. It came in so much easier. And that happens to me all the time. Like, I don't know if you guys saw on TikTok, I went to Wingstop, or I might have posted it on Instagram. I posted it somewhere, but I was invited to go to Wingstop and try out some of their um, new flavors because it's like a new location in Toronto. And literally the night before I was invited, I had said to my best friend, I want to start reaching out to like hotels and restaurants, like when we travel and stuff, so that, you know, I can start doing like partnerships and brand deals with them, or even just like gifted opportunities and going to those events instead of just doing like physical items that like I get like PR and like stuff like that and it was just something I said in passing like that's something I want to work towards something I want to do and then I just forgot about it literally the next morning I woke up to a um, DM from Wingstop asking if I wanted to go in and that's just like another thing that I've manifested so fast because I wasn't like gripping onto it so I know this works and I know it makes sense and I know it feels better so it's just constantly having to like remind myself that and bring myself back to that focus of like being here now focusing on what I can do today, knowing what I want for my goals and how I can take action today towards them, but also not feeling so in my head about why it's not here, when it's going to be here, um, how it's going to happen, what can I do to make it happen? Just like literally just living for today and letting go of it and not feeling so clawing at it. Because with anything, if you're like clawing at something or running towards something or chasing something, the natural energetic response from the thing is to like back up you know what i mean like if i run at my dog and i go like this to him or i run at someone and i go like that to them 
they're gonna naturally flinch back and that's like anything that you're desiring so if you can just be it'll come to you i heard this quote and i'm gonna completely butcher it but it was basically something like the flower doesn't try to attract the bees the flower just is and the bees come and that's exactly what it is it's just being and everything that you want will come to you if i have any thoughts i'll fill you guys in but that's that's my thoughts right now i have like these two pigtails in and it's my first time doing pigtails with like short hair i honestly didn't really do pigtails that much with long hair either but i feel so cute in them like i just feel so look how cute they look with my headphones like i feel like this is such a cute gym outfit hairstyle i hope that this is a little reminder for you as well to practice letting go of your desires and know that they're coming to you your desires are there for a reason you're not the necessarily the one to create these desires they're just coming through you and they're meant to be fulfilled so they will be fulfilled it's just letting go and trusting that and being appreciative for what has already come to you and living in this now moment i love you so much and if you're new here please subscribe if you are subscribed already thank you so much for subscribing i love you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys Thank you.